Hello, my name is Nick Huntington Klein, uh, and I'm here in front of what is not my most interesting background of all time to tell you about a software package in R, and that package is FixEst, F I X E S T. Uh, e -S -T. Uh, and what FixEst is, is it is a package for running regressions in R uh, that covers a lot of different cases. Uh, it's very flexible. And importantly, it is extremely fast. Uh, it is currently, to my knowledge, the fastest way of running any sort of high dimensional uh, or large sample fixed effects model in any language, not just R, but it's faster than the options available in Julia, certainly faster than the options available in Stata, and I believe also in Python as well. Let's go ahead and talk about what it can do. Uh, so first of all, it is a package for running fixed effects models. Uh, and so that's the first thing we're gonna start out doing. Let's just dive right into it. So I'm going to load up some data. I've got some data from the Woldridge uh, textbook here, which is Crime 4. I'm going to look at it so you can just see what sort of data we are looking at here. Uh, so we have some panel data. Uh, so we have some things to do fixed effects on. We have different counties in different years, and we have stuff like crime rate and et cetera. I'm not actually going to worry too much about what these variables are. I'm not going to build models that make sense here. I'm just going to show you how to use the package. Uh, and so let's start. Let's run a regression, uh, and let's include some fixed effects in it. So I'm going to use the FEOLS uh, function. That is a OLS regression with fixed effects included in it. Uh, I'm going to re regress the crime rate on the police per capita, the, the county's density, the tax per capita. Then I'm going to use this pipe here, this little straight line, and that will uh, distinguish my uh, my main model uh, from the fixed effects that I would like to include. Notice, by the way, that I can include more than one fixed effects very easily. I can add more than two. In fact, I can go as many as I want, and it will include fixed effects for all of them. I would also recommend checking out the uh, the help file for FEOLS. It will also show you how to do things like interacted fixed effects. So if instead of county fixed effects and year fixed effects, I wanted county by year fixed effects, I could do that very easily as well. I can't do it here because there's only one observation per county per year, but we could do it. Uh, and then I will simply tell it the data that I am looking at. So I'm going to run that regression. Uh, oh, I forgot to load the fix S package. There we go. And very quick, very fast. Uh, we can look at the results here. Uh, so we can see the coefficients uh, from our model as well as the standard errors and all that good stuff. Uh, and you'll, you'll notice that it does not report the fixed effects coefficients themselves. Uh, this is a uh, fast method fixed effects, which means it is sweeping out all those fixed effects. It's not actually uh, estimating them directly. Uh, so that is not what we're going for here. You could, of course, if you wanted to get coefficients on, say, year, I could, instead of including year here, I could say, you know, plus factor year, and it would actually estimate those coefficients for me if I liked. Um, so that's just your basic output. Uh, you can uh, also pass that to many other, you know, type regression table type things. You know, my favorite is, you know, model summary. So there we have the output. Um, and... Uh, Couple things to notice here. One um, is that uh, it will tell me in the table uh, what fixed effects I have included. Very nice. Uh, also notice, by the way, that the default standard error used uh, for F for uh, FEOLS, if, especially if you have multiple fixed effects, is it will cluster by the first fixed effect that you provide it. Uh, if you want to override that, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, but also, you know, I used model summary here. You actually don't have to go outside of FixEst to give yourself a nice regression table. Uh, there is the uh, EST table function inside of fixed uh, fixed uh, uh, fixed est table, which also has an out to tech uh, law tech option as table M1, and it will give me. Uh, I guess I should use E table. S table is the old one. There we go. So you can see it's got uh, it's a nice formatting for what I've got. You know, coefficients, standard errors. Uh, and then there's options, of course, to format this however you like, R squared and within R squared, and it shows me that the standards are being clustered by county by default. Okay, I mentioned that I can uh, take off the clustering uh, if you use the SE option. There's many different kinds of standard errors that you can use. Again, if you look in the FEOLS uh, help file, it will show you all the different options. Here, I'm just going to use uh, robust standard errors that are not clustered. All right, there we go. This one time, it's uh, standard errors are heteroscedicity robust not cluster. There are also options for the different kinds of robust standard errors you can use. Okay, that's your basic FEOLS. Uh, what else can we do? Well, fixed test also does instrumental variables estimation, uh, either in combination with uh, with fixed effects or not. Uh, you can actually leave out the fixed effects here if you like, if you just want to do IV. When I teach IV in my classes, I use FEOLS even if I'm not using fixed effects. How do you do it? Well, we have our uh, typical 
uh, outcome variables and the whatever uh, exogenous controls we have. I'm going to include my fixed effects as normal. Then I'll have another bar here, and I'll have my endogenous variable, uh, and then the instrument for that endogenous variable. And I can run that, and it will run nice and quickly, and I will get my results. Uh, the name of the coefficient uh, in uh, in the uh, in the regression table will be fit underscore, and then the endogenous variable. So you can you know tell at a spot that it is the you know fitted version uh, in a two-stage least squares style uh, there. Uh, you can, of course, include multiple uh, instrumental, multiple endogenous variables, mul multiple instruments in here. Again, just check the help file. Okay, uh, and one ni another nice thing about FixEst is that you don't have to go anywhere else to get nonlinear fixed effects models. Uh, so FixEst is fully capable of fitting uh, things like GLM with fixed effects, fitting a maximum likelihood with fixed effects, fitting a negative bi a binomial or Poisson models with fixed effects. So we can, for example, use a GLM here. Uh, which uh, I'm going to give it a binary outcome, and you can go into there to the settings to you know set it to probit or logit or what have you, uh, and you can run your model like that, right? So we have now a uh, I believe it is a logit with fixed effects. Uh, no, uh, the default is oh, Poisson here. Uh, if you default to Poisson, I probably should have set it to uh, to logit with the family arg argument. Didn't do that. Um, we can also cluster very easily. I mentioned that the default clustering level is at the first fixed effect that you give it. Uh, you can multi-way cluster as well, just to set the cluster option to whatever variables you would like to cluster. We have that there. Other stuff that fixed effects does, it will handle lags and leads in your data. Uh, if you give it a panel ID uh, setting for the uh, ID and uh, time variable, and uh, there's also another way to do it. You can just set it as a panel data set using the panel function, uh, but I will typically do it this way. Uh, it will then recognize if you give it leads or lag. So the D here is a lag, so I'm giving it lagged tax per capita here. Uh, and uh, I can look at the result there. And there we go, I have a lagged value. Uh, and it's more flexible than that. You can do multiple lags, you can do multiple leads, you can do lags of a certain distance, however you want to do it. Panel lag stuff, it's, it's here. Um, so there we go with that. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, one thing that you can, there's, so that's sort of the main thrust of FixS. But if you want to stop watching here, I totally get it. You can run fixed effects regressions of the OLS or GLM or negative binomial or maximum likelihood variety. Uh, you can include instrumental variables in it. You can do whatever kind of standard error stuff you want to do, and it will just sort of all work, and it'll be super fast and super quick. That said, we're not even done with what fixed, what fixed S can do. There's a lot of other cool little tools that it can have. Uh, so, for example, uh, you can run the, a model across multiple different subsets uh, of your data. So, for example, let's say I want to run the model separately by whether it is an urban or non-urban environment. Uh, I can use the split option to run it separately for urban equals zero and urban equals one, or F split to do urban equals zero, urban equals one, or the full, the full data set. So there's M7. It has now run three fixed effects regressions for me, the full data and then the split uh, in the two areas. And then the est table function uh, will automatically be able to put all of those together in some nice columns for me to look at. Um, we, can, we also have some, uh, some nice functions for dealing with interaction terms and factors. Uh, so let me give myself a multi-level factor, which isn't in the original data. Um, but the I function here does a couple things. So one, I can use it with a factor variable to choose the reference category for that factor variable, which is often a headache in R. Uh, so let's say I want my reference category to be five here. I can do that, M8. Right, so... Uh, here I've set the reference category for factor average sen to five, uh, and you'll notice that the five coefficient is not there. Um, and uh, that's what we get for that. Uh, we can also use it to do nice fancy interactions with uh, with factor variables. So here I've got an interaction between uh, double, the wcon variable, which is continuous, and the factor average sen, and I'm choosing the reference category, and it's doing it in a nice easy way. Uh, this time notice that the uh, I guess you can't see that there, but let's do S table M9. Uh, so I set the reference category to eight. You'll notice that the interaction between WCON and factor average sent eight is not there. All right, that is the main thrust of one of the, what I wanted to get at with FixEst. Uh, I haven't even gotten through everything that has a whole suite of like uh, st uh, stepwise regression stuff. I don't do that, but uh, you know, if you're interested, then it does have that. Uh, and there's just a lot of cool little tips and tricks in there if you if you delve into the, um, the help files. Uh, I will post a link in the uh, description to the project page for FixEst, so you can explore all the different stuff that it has to do. I'll also post all the code that I just did here uh, in the description of the video. 
and I would recommend checking it out. This is what I do pretty much all the time whenever I just want a regular regression uh, in R. Uh, unless it's as simple as I could do with like an LM. Uh, and even then, I might as well do uh, fixed test. Why not? So that's it. Hopefully you get a chance to use this uh, and get some use out of it. Thank you.